Are you ready? It's time for another great infotaining show filled with power-packed business and life information. Welcome to Your Future Is Now with your host, Jim Grant, and co-host, Don McGrath. Want to know how to create a fantastic TED Talk or how you can become an author or a speaker or build your own online business? Maybe it's reaching a level of success in your life that you deserve. Their show is designed to provide information to assist you towards your success and destiny. Each week, Jim and Don will interview a special guest and share exciting lessons. So grab a pen and paper, take some notes. Thanks for joining the show. Now, here's Jim. Well, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant. Your Future Is Now is sponsored by the Speakers Pathway Coalition. Our website is speakerspathway.com. And today we have a great guest on, Ira Rosen. He's going to be sharing some great information with all the good people out there because when you take 50 years of experience, experience is one thing you cannot buy. And you turn it into a billion dollars in sales. I think that gentleman would be worth listening to. I'm joined by my good friend and business partner and just all around dandy guy, Dandy Don McGrath. And Dandy Don, I understand that you're up there in uh, in a little park up there somewhere. Would you share where your location, sir? Yeah, I feel I feel like I'm a Carmen San Diego. That every time we have the show, I'm sitting somewhere else. Well, today I'm in my I'm in my camper, a 25 foot travel trailer that my wife and I took across the country from Colorado to New York, and I'm up in the Adirondack Mountains near a small lake called Scroon Lake. Did some climbing mm-hmm. yesterday, and uh, just absolutely having a blast. That's wonderful. That's just absolutely wonderful. You know, and Dandy Don is demonstrating what we've been talking about, living the laptop lifestyle career, because you can do that because anywhere that you go, if you build your own online business, if you got a laptop and Wi-Fi, guess what? You're in business. In fact, Dandy, one of our executive training directors, Preston Martelli, he took him himself and his wife and I think two, how many kids they got? Two or three, something like that. I think four. four, four kids. And they run, They traveled around the world for one year and did not miss a dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. In fact, I, I, I went to go call him the other day about something. He was in Colombia. <laughs> so, oh, my goodness gracious, yeah. yeah. He, he's, definitely, he's definitely on the, on the go, and that's a wonderful thing because whenever you get ready to um, create your business career and your lifestyle, the very best advice I can give you is talk to subject matter experts who have done it who have experience, and they're, they're willing to share their knowledge and wisdom with you. Not someone's going to try to you know, teach you on theory or try to get you excited about money because money is the poorest motivator on planet Earth. Putting your heart into something, that's what it's about. And today, Dandy Don, we have Mr. Ira Rosen all the way from Scottsdale, Arizona. And he's there in Arizona. I'm in Texas, and you're in New York. And uh, me and Ben are the only two in Texas. Ben is our producer. He's up there in Tyler, Texas, there in studio number one. But, um, Dandy, would you be so kind as to welcome Ira to the show, sir? Absolutely. So it's an absolute pleasure to have Ira on the show today. You know, we were talking just before we came on the air, and he's going to share some like new stuff. You know, not you know he got he was talking about how many entrepreneurs fail fail within the first couple of years. I think it's eighty percent or so, and how there's all kinds of people out there making things really complicated and trying to sell you this tool and that tool. And have you ever felt really confused? Well, I was going to bring to you some really crystal clear information, some brand new stuff that he's that he has. And so, Ira, welcome so much to the show. Oh, well, thank you, Don, and thank you, Jim, for inviting me. It's um, I love um, sharing and um, kind of passing the baton along. But uh, no, it was um, and Jim, it was great meeting you. Um, you know, a few weeks back at Robert Jones's event, and we got a chance to meet and. Um, uh, Don, did we get a chance to meet there as well? Were you there at that moment? I was. I was there. I saw you speak, but I we never had a chance to physically connect. So it's great okay. to meet you <laughs> virtually here uh, from yeah. uh, over the area. All right. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, it's always yeah. I mean, it's just you know, I love live events where you can really meet people, um, and it's you know, it's it's great to be on the internet. We do a lot of virtual stuff. You know, talking about freedom. 
you know, about uh, your one friend that's traveling around the world. Uh, quick story, my business partner, Corey Sanchez, we've been working together for 10 years, um, very, very uh, accomplished um, entrepreneur. And he got married a year, year and a half ago in Barcelona. And uh, I was there, and it was, it was a great time. And he came up to me afterwards. He said, Ira, I think, you know, I've got this bucket list. I want to live in a different country every month. Uh, and just and work from the road. And I go, hey, uh, go ahead. I mean, it's let's see how it goes. And what happened was uh, our numbers went up. Through, I mean, the last year and a half has been the best year and a half we ever had. I mean, he's been to 18 countries, you know, from Australia to Fiji to um, right now he's in uh, the Netherlands, uh, Amsterdam. I mean, over in every place you can imagine. And so I told him, you might as well stay out there another couple of years because we're, we're killing it here. And he laughed. But anyway, <laughs> don't come home. Don't come back. But it's, you know, it's really all about, um, it's all about, you know, and I, I subscribe to what, you know, Jim and Don, what you guys, you know, I know always um, advocate is freedom, you know, a freedom, financial oh, yeah. freedom and freedom of time. Uh, wouldn't you agree that's so critically important? It really is. You know, whenever you may be able to make the choices for yourself, what it is that you want to do, that's one of the things that Don and I stress when someone comes to the Speakers Pathway Coalition and they're looking at us like, well, is this a good fit for me or not? And we simply tell them that, what is it that you want to do? What's your passion? What's your heart? We don't try to change people's way of thinking or our way of thinking because they got to have their, their, you know, they got to have a mission and they got to have a heart in their mission. And if not, if they don't have that, you know, it's, I've told one guy just better to stay where, stay where he is, you know. <laughs> yeah, Dandy absolutely. Don, I'll tell you, you and I both, we, we've seen people that they're looking for a quick fix out there. And the quick fix is just a Band-Aid approach to a, a fractured leg. It really is. <laughs> and that's why we want to have Ira on here to give you some nuts and bolts and some good old fashioned steak and potatoes that you can sink your teeth into. Yeah, the only the only quick fix is to get started. <laughs> That's the only quick fix. Is that first step, right? You know, just, you can stand on the edge of the precipice and, and be looking like this. Oh, I really want this. I really want this. I should go. I should start my own business. I should. I should. I should. But just take that first step, right? Yeah, you're absolutely oh, yeah. right. No. So what I, you know, one of the thoughts that, one of the things I want to start off with today is being an entrepreneur, um, you've got to be a warrior. It's not easy. Anyone that says it's easy has never been an entrepreneur. They're not being truthful. And um, you have these highs and you have these lows. When, when, you get, when you get that big deal, you're like all excited. And when you, when you go a whole week or two weeks, with nothing going on, and all of a sudden you go, what am I doing? You start second-guessing yourself. Then you get this massive uncertainty, and you say, why did I start this in the beginning? So it's a roller coaster ride. Now, what's really – and I'm, I'm going to really give you some stuff that uh, you've never heard before. Two things you have to do as an entrepreneur that are, like, super important. I would call them urgent every day. Not important, but urgent. There's a big difference. Because people get confused and they get distracted. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and I'm going to do this branding and I'm going to do all these fancy things and I'm going to get new logos. and I, I, Branding is great, all that stuff. But here is what you need first. And what you need first is you only need to do two things. Number one, fill your calendar. No one ever talks about calendars, ever. Um, have a full calendar. If you've got a full calendar of, of prospects every, you know, every day, every week, you know, you're in momentum. You're coming from a place of abundance. You're not in scarcity. Uh, you're in a better mood. You're having fun. You're helping your clients. You're fulfilling your mission. The flip side is when you look at your calendar and all you see is white space, you realize that the average entrepreneur – talks to one to two people a week and they wonder why, you know, th they struggle. I mean, uh, again, 80 to 90% of business owners are gone uh, within 24 months and they got to switch and do something else and then try something else. 
and then maybe get a job and whatever. But um, I call it my 21040. You might want to write that down, uh, mm -hmm. success theory, and that is, Two people, this is not sexy, it's not cool, it just works. You want to talk to two people a day, every day. You want to, that's 10 people a week, that's 40 people a month. If you, if you have an empty calendar, your house is on fire. Write that down. Your house is on fire. So if you're talking to 40 people a month, even 20 people a month, you're going to, you're going to have momentum and you're going to do great. So it's, so to me, that's one of the big, one of the big, big things, and all the other things during the day are important at different levels of importance, but um, you guys remember the four-hour work week, I'm sure, by Timothy Ferris? Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. So I think that that was one of the most um, important books written in the last 15 years, and the premise is very simple, and that is 80% of most people's day is completely non-revenue producing. And when people solve that problem, that's when things happen. Because you can, if you can double your lead flow, because it's all about your leads. Because if you got a full calendar, you got a happy calendar. If you got a happy calendar, your bank account is full. So it's all about, um, you know, it, it's all about momentum. It's all about your calendar. And these are the things that are really super important to be an entrepreneur. You've got to, you know, you've, you've got to use your time well. Um, if you follow around the average entrepreneur during the day, it's shocking. I know this because I've worked with thousands and thousands of business owners. And, you know, they, it, it, you know, uh, there's so many distractions out there, and it's difficult for people to stay focused like it was maybe a few years ago. Here's the other challenge is it's harder to get in front of your prospects right now than it was a year ago. And I hear this all the time. People are complaining, God, I run, you know, a couple of years ago I was making twice the money and I'm, I'm, making, I'm making half the money. You know, I'm working twice as hard. Yeah. And what's up with that? Yeah, we'll, we've got a break for a commercial break. We'll be right back after these messages. SpeakersPathway.com is the proud sponsor of Your Future Is Now, a show dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the vision and mission of Speakers Pathway. Dr. Sony Jackson's expertise is on the art of marketing while cultivating a long-term customer relationship in your business world. Do you know what to say or how to deliver your message to complete strangers? If so, Sony can help you. Tamara Hunter is a cancer survivor and works with people to focus their message or mission to the audience they want to reach. Do you feel called to create a movement to make the world a better place? If so, Tamara can help you. For additional information from any of our executive training directors, go to speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. Congratulations on being the proud owner of an adorable, soft, cuddly, sweet-smelling, smiling, cooing, hungry, tired, gassy, screaming little bundle of joy. So now what? Where's the owner's manual for this thing? Where are my instructions? Right here. It's baby and toddler instructions with Blythe Lipman on toginet.com. Infant care specialist Blythe Lipman has worked with babies for over 20 years and works extensively with new parents providing workshops, in-home visits, tips, and daily phone calls to ease those frazzled nerves. With baby and toddler instructions, you can get the advice you need on how to survive and enjoy your baby's first year. For more information on Blythe and how she can help you, go to babyinstructions.com. From 32 ways to stop a baby from crying to 14 ways to get a baby to eat and so much more, it's Baby and Toddler Instructions with Blythe Lipman on toginet.com.
And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant. Your future is now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And the first part of this show, ladies and gentlemen, if you missed it, you're in for a treat. You need to go back and listen to it because, you know, Ira shared with me and uh, Dan, Danny Don and all the audience about the 21040 uh, formula where you talk to two people a day, 10 people a week, 40 people a month. If you do that, you'll be successful and having a full calendar. And my goodness, uh, that was just the tip of the iceberg he was uh, sharing with us, wasn't it, Dandy? It really, it really was wonderful. And, you know, when, when we teach speaking, we, we say that, you know, as a speaker, you're really looking to take complex things and make them simple, make them digestible. And what I love about what Ira shared with us is the simplicity. It <laughs> yes. really is simple. But one thing we were talking about on the break is, you know, a lot of us are, think, well, gosh, you know, I really don't want to pick up the phone and call somebody. I heard the term the 500 pound phone. And uh, <laughs> but it, you're just not going to be successful unless you talk to people. Right, Ira? Oh, absolutely. You know, they call it call reluctance. People have this thing of, you know, fear of failure, fear of rejecting. You know, they're not saying they're not rejecting you. They might be rejecting um, your product or service. And at the end of the day, they're buying you and they get your products and services for free. But, you know, two things you know, we talked about a little bit ago in the first uh, uh, segment is fill, <clears throat> fill that calendar. You've got to have a full calendar. There's an epidemic going on globally, nationally, all over. Empty calendar syndrome. I coined that phrase about 10 years ago. It's a serious problem. The number one reason why people just crash and burn. Harvard did a big study. The number one reason why entrepreneurs go out of business, they simply don't have enough people to talk to. Now, this 90% of the success of your business has nothing to do with how good you are or how good your product is. Nowadays, it's a marketing game. And I'm going to talk more about that in a little bit. The second thing, aside from a full calendar, is close. So all you've got to do every day is focus on these two things, is fill your calendar, put time in your – schedule it in in the morning, and that's like a non-negotiable thing. You know, um, I like to squeeze days out of hours. And I love to squeeze weeks out of days. And my team and myself and my business partner, we work at that pace because our calendars are loaded up all day long. Matter of fact, they're loaded up so much that when someone moves the time and that happens, you know, periodically I go, oh, thank you. Uh, and, <laughs> but I, like, I love doing that because at the end of the day, I look back and go, wow, I can't believe what, you know, what, what happened. So you want to be able to amaze yourself. And so... I want everybody to write this down, uh, CPDF, CPDF, you know, you're going to realize I like acronyms, and that is the first C stands for um, get really clear on what you want, why you want it, and how you're going to get it. What you want, why you want it, and how you're going to get it. What is your why? What is that thing that pulls you out of bed in the morning? You, on your worst day when you're feeling lousy, maybe you're sick, whatever it is, you've got all these challenges. So you've got to get, you've got to really get clear on what you want. You know, you've got to know your why. And the other thing is, the other part of the C is commit. I mean, really commit. Not just put your toe in the water. If you're in a situation that's not good, the best way out is to go all in. And now, the next one is P for persistent. He who is the most persistent will always, always win. And it's all about just simply not giving up. And if your why is big enough, you're going to hang in there no matter what. The other thing is discipline. A dis undisciplined mind, Gandhi said, is a mind that suffers. You know, you get the short end of everything. You suffer in many different ways. Uh, you suffer financially. And it just has a trickle-down effect because... It affects your self-esteem. It affects your confidence. You know, it's a game of confidence these days. He who is the most confident always, always wins, whether it's in our personal life, in sports, in our business. You've got to be supremely confident. How do you get supremely confident? Every day you have victories. You build on that every day. If you get 1% better every single day, think about it. In one year, you've improved 365 times, just those little, little things. Uh, the next acronym is 
letter is F for focus. This is the, one of the biggest challenges for entrepreneurs today. You've got to be focused. Uh, an unfocused mind is just you're all over the place. A quick analogy is if you take a magnifying glass, you put it in the Arizona sun for about two minutes uh, on a piece of paper, in about, uh, in about two minutes you're going to have fire. Why? You've got the focus energy of the sun. Now, if you take that same mm-hmm. paper and have that, you have that newspaper out there for eight hours in 115 degree in the dead of summer, all you have at the end of the day is a warm piece of paper. That's it. <laughs> Why? Because the, the rays of the sun were scattered everywhere. So every morning, and I'm telling you this metaphor so this will stick in your mind. We remember stories and metaphors. Every morning you get up to say to yourself, I want to be, I want to be the magnifying glass. So everything you do, get focused on it. Don't get distracted because, again, we live in a world of distractions. Um, mm. So the other thing I wanted to bring up is average is an epidemic. Everywhere you look, you know, you see average, people settling. You know, you know it's just it's okay. It's not okay because if you want to settle – settle for more. Back in the 15th century, <clears throat> the word average meant damaged goods. Damaged goods has no value because it's abundant and you can see it in every direction. I mean, just look around and watch people, how they do things. Uh, it's just enough to get by. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're, you know, if you're, um, if your calendar is empty, your calendar is a direct reflection of your efforts that you put into your business. If you're on fire, you're passionate. If you believe that you're, you're letting your clients down if, if they don't buy your products and services, if you run for the door when you hear the first no and just, you know, fold and cave in, um, you know, you really, you know, you're, you're selling yourself short. But, you know, you've got, you want to go from average to awesome. And a lot of times, it's just a matter of really getting clear on what is it that you want and how you're going to get there. Because here's the reality of all of this. People love their comfort zone. Your comfort zone is not your friend. Because nothing great that any of us have ever done was in our comfort zone. If really look back on your life. So you want to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Navy SEALs, when they go through all this uh, amazing training, you know, incredible training. You know, they don't sleep for three days, and they go through all these harsh, um, harsh training and different exercises and so forth, where they're up and they're you know running for miles and miles with heavy packs on their backs and so forth. They're doing that so that they can be extremely uncomfortable. That way, they're training their mind with discipline and be able to handle all these things, all these emotions. So you've got to be able to handle your emotions and, and manage your emotions because if you can manage your emotions, you, that's going to really make a big difference. That way you have control over your thoughts because 80, 85% of our thoughts during the day are skewed more in a negative way. So you want to go from average to awesome, and you want to also get out of your comfort zone and move into your, write this down, discomfort zone. You want to be a little bit comfortable all the time, and you want to do. What you're talking about is is entrepreneurism as as a mindset, right? And uh, you know, someone we had on the show, I think Jim said, "Show me a poor person who wins a million dollars, and I'll show you a poor person in a year <laughs> that spent a million true. dollars." Show that's true. That's true. A successful, you know, someone who's successful and wealthy take all their money away, and in another year they'll have it back again. It's so really is a mindset that's what you're talking about ira right yeah absolutely and you know what you what you're both talking about uh jim and don has been validated i've seen uh interesting stories um you know actually documentaries on this subject where they took a whole number of people and they, they won lots of money and within a year or two they didn't have the emotional and psychological um capacity to hang on to that money because their mindset was different so so in order, so here's the big question that everyone's really got to ask themselves. You know, what are your standards? I mean, what do you really want? Are, what do you, what do you, what's important to you? And the higher your standards, obviously, the more you're going to achieve. 
you know, it kind of ties right into goal setting. But mm -hmm. it's one thing to have lofty goals. I mean, at the end of, I think it's 8% of people actually realize their, their, New Year's, their New Year's resolution goals. I mean, it's incredible. So you've got to be able to, um, when you're talking about goals and everything, and you're talking about, your, about expectations and your standards, you've got to have a thing called, Tony Robbins talks about this a lot, rituals. What are the rituals, the daily rituals that make it happen, the habits? So in the morning, you know, uh, you know what I do, what I profess is uh, I get up, you know, I have my cup of coffee, I have my routine, um, I go through my emails, I listen to maybe Tony Robbins or Grant Cardone, I take about 10 minutes, I kind of, uh, kind of hit the reset button, and then I go work out for an hour, an hour and a half, now, I do that seven days a week. That's not like if I feel like it or if I'm in the mood. That's just something I've done for over 50 years. And that, what mm -hmm. that does is put me, it puts my mindset into a place where, and they've done studies on this, after you exercise, I think most people know this, you're in a different emotional state. And it gives you a competitive edge. And mm -hmm. you know, if, you, if you want to do great in anything, you've got to feel great. So how do you feel every day? Do you have the energy? Uh, because if you're going to be an entrepreneur and win, you've got to you've got to be driving hard and you've got to be out there hustling and doing all those different things. So uh, have a routine. Yeah. If you're not exercising, go out there, do something. If it's walking, it doesn't matter. But just get your body moving because it affects mm -hmm. the neurotransmitters in your brain, the dopamine, the neuro, uh, the uh, the dopamine and the serotonin, all those things, are mood elevating chemicals that make us yeah. feel great. That's that, yeah. that's my ritual. In the you're exact. You're exactly right there, Ira. We've got about 15 seconds left, but it, what really came to my mind as you were talking, it's kind of like an old story that there's more gold that's been mined inside the minds of men that ever came out of a hole. And we're going to get more into this a little bit uh, as we come back after the commercial breaks. And ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned. This show, Your Future Is Now, is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And just like the show, we are dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the same vision and mission of helping people to find their future. Is fear holding you back from your calling or your life mission? Do you struggle with taking that first step? If so, Bill Henrich is our catalyst to help you create perspectives with new possibilities that will bring you more peace more joy, more love in your life and freedom. Do you struggle trying to build your strategy? Do you know how to reach your end results? If not, GG Ames is your expert in strategy and helping you create your step-by-step -step game plan to reach your finish line. For more information on creating the life you want to live, reach out to Bill Henrich. Or if GG Ames can help you with building your strategy with your end goal in sight, Go to speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. It's words you never heard. Whenever we hear a recording of our own voice, it always sounds different than we think. This is because the bones in our skull create a resonance from within that makes our voice sound deeper to us. But our recorded voice is how others hear us. I'm sure I'm not the first person who has uttered the words, I really don't sound like that. Do I? Margaret Thatcher famously underwent vocal training to lower her voice and make her sound more statesmanlike. Recently, British Airways polled Americans and Britons to see who they believed had the sexiest voices. Morgan Freeman was voted number one. If a judge loves the sound of his own voice, expect a long sentence. What's a word for a person who loves to hear the sound of their own voice? A philodox. It's words you never heard. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words.
Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Your future is now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And during the break, Dandy Don, you and I, we were visiting with Ira, and, and we found out that he was a wrestler when he was 17 years of age, and he wrestles people's uh, uh, problems to the ground now for them. But uh, he also shared something very, very interesting about how he loves to hire athletes. That was amazing, wasn't it? It, it really yeah. was. And, uh, you know, I, I, I love that, Ira, because, you know, I myself, I was a runner and I'm, now I'm a rock climber. And I really feel that, you know, you have an edge if you know how to work really hard and you know how to lose and you know what it feels like to be down and come back, get up after you've fallen down. So I, I, I love that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, um, yeah, and actually I was, um, I was an alternate for the U.S. wrestling team for the Olympics. Um, not the last Olympics, but um, but no, sports <laughs> is uh, sports is is so interesting because when when you're an athlete, you have to have discipline and you've got to have the focus and persistence. All the things we talked about earlier, and they're all transferred over. All those uh, attributes are extremely valuable for an entrepreneur. Because if you can push through and you can make those calls and you can you can schedule that time, say an hour in the morning, where you're making those calls, you're reaching out to people, you're making things happen, and not just well, if I feel like it, I think I'm going to go on Facebook and uh, I think I'm going to do all these other things. You know, I think I'm going to run up and get a cup of coffee and I'm going to get a donut and then I think I'm going to get my car washed and. God, there's some stuff that uh, there's a little thing on Netflix I wanted to watch. I think I'll call my friends up. All of a sudden, it's three o'clock. <laughs> oh, I got to go. I got to go to lunch with my buddies. And you know what? How much time did you really spend revenue producing? But you know, athletes get it. They understand. Now, if you're not an athlete, that doesn't mean you can't be successful as an entrepreneur at all. But my point is, you know, you've got to have you've got to have the discipline, and you've got to. And it's a muscle, and every day you get a little bit better, and you train your, you train your mind, you train yourself, and that way, if you get just a, if you just get a little bit better every day, and you're really intentional about it, magical things happen because, you know, you're either winning or losing. You're either getting a little bit better every day, or you're going backwards, and you're going the other way. You know, so it's really, you know, it's all about momentum. And it's all about excitement and passion when you're talking to, you know, your prospects, um, get into that a little bit. You know, if you're excited, they're going to be excited. And they've got to believe that you believe that your solution is going to, is going to help them. And I want to get into, dive into the sales a little bit at that aspect because Robert Kiyosaki said, if you can't sell, he says, if you can't sell, that is the most important attribute as an entrepreneur, he said, you better figure it out really fast. Otherwise go get a J O B and there's nothing wrong with the job, but you're not, you're not, there's no way you're going to be able to cut it. You've got to be able to sell. You can have a great idea. You can have a great product and all those things. But if you can't sell now, if you, if your company's up and running and you have the cash flow, you could bring in people and let them do the selling. But in the very beginning, you know, you've got to have, you, you're the one that's got to go out there and make it happen. So uh, one of the things I think is really important is you want to, you don't want to show up as a salesperson, whatever you're selling. You want to show up as a consultant, as an advisor. You want to be coming from a place of really helping them. And I think in the very beginning, a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, they dive right in and try to close people. I've been in networking events where, People walk up to me, they give me their card, and they start pitching me. I go, wow, you know, whoa, 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 slow down here. Uh, <laughs> and, so, uh, and so when you get, you know, and we do a lot, of, we have a LinkedIn platform, and we, we help our clients pull, you know, uh, build relationships and fill your calendar with 20 to 40 people a month using our automated softwares and strategies and training on LinkedIn because that's where all the gold is. Your average income on LinkedIn is $120,000. Most CEOs are on there, and Facebook is half of that. You're not going to find high-level uh, people on, on Facebook. You're just not. So uh, it's, And so here's the other thing. If you're working with broke clients, 
you're probably getting your clients out of Facebook. Now, if you're B2B, okay, business to business, you've got to be on LinkedIn because that's where the high net worth individuals are. And this is an important thing to know because things have changed. What worked five years ago doesn't work now. Referral and word of mouth is great. We get lots of referrals. The name of our company, by the way, is Mojo Global. Uh, we get lots of referrals every week. They're the best. But here's the problem. When you rely on them, you have no control over your what's going to happen because mm. you, know, you might get two or three referrals one week, and then you might go a month without any at all. Then you're going, wow, what am I doing? You know, then you start second-guessing yourself. You have the anxiety, and there goes your confidence, and then it's a downward spiral. And it, it happens. It happens every day. So, mm. it's, so it's like being in the middle of the ocean, stranded, and you're hoping and praying a fish will jump in your boat so you can eat to survive. That's if you're relying on referrals. Now, don't always, you know, you always want to nurture them and get them and ask for referrals. Absolutely. The other thing is cold calling. With all the technology we have, with all the, you know, like with LinkedIn as an example, if you're B2B, if you're on LinkedIn and you know what you're doing, um, there's no need for cold calls. You know, none at all. Mm. Cold calling is the universe's revenge for lousy marketing, quite honestly. Mm. It, it, it is because you can go on LinkedIn with our platform. You can send out 100 connection requests every day. That would normally take three hours. Nobody's going to spend three hours manually. With our platform, you press a button, off it goes. You're going to have 25% of them say yes. You're going to have about 25 people join your network. Think about that. So at the end of a month, you've got 500 people that said yes to you, and you can start communicating with them because they gave you permission. Now you're building your network. The biggest mistake that people make on LinkedIn is they message back and forth like they're on Facebook. You need to get them off of LinkedIn. You have a discovery call. You get to know them, not pitch and sell, and build that relationship. So you know, LinkedIn, I'm a huge, huge advocate. So our company's been around for 10 years, and we, we, you know, this is, and I tell people all day, if you're B2B and you want to grow your business, what will take you five or 10 years, you could do in months on LinkedIn because it's like going to a giant conference where there's millions of people there every day, and you show up virtually. And if you're a little bit of an introvert, you know, you could, this is a perfect place for you because you don't have to go and, meet all these people and shake all these hands and whatever. Some people love it. Some people aren't really wild about it, but it's you're leveraging your time instead of one to one and leverage is an important thing. It's one to many. And that's what right, I got. I got a question. I got a question. Can I ask you a question? Please. Be because it, I'm on LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn quite a bit. And the a thing that is, I've seen it quite a bit lately is people will connect with me and then they're like, hey, I think I can help you with my whatever, whatever. I got this great thing. And I'm like, you don't even know me. Yeah. And it, 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 I will disconnect them faster than – so, you know, can you share a little bit about what, what it means to nurture a relationship on LinkedIn? Yeah, that's a great, great question. Um, and that's what everybody's doing. And the good news is because everyone is doing it, people are spamming like crazy, and they're, they got what I call commission breath. They're just showing up, pitching, and selling. So the proper – so once – that's what – I got that term from my daughter, Kina. So commission uh, breath, I think it's funny. I like uh, that. I like that. So Go ahead, sir. when you're – so what you want to do is after they sign up for – they join your network, you send them, you go in and look at their profile. It just takes, there's a way to do it where it only takes like 20 seconds. You don't want to spend 10 minutes in there because there, there goes your time. And you pick out two things about, you can compliment them. When you compliment somebody, it's equivalent to giving someone money. Neuroscientists have done studies on this. Think about that. When you compliment somebody, it's the brain registers at the same as you've given them cash. But anyways, you compliment them. Hey, you've been in business for 25 years. Congratulations. I love your blog post. And, you know, then, of course, they're going to respond back. And then what you want to do is ask something really – you want to make it the next message is keep it really short, something about, you know, I'd love to find out more about you 
and what you're doing, because it looks like you're doing some really exciting things. I'd love to have a brief call so we can just kind of connect and get to know each other. Bam. That's it. It's kind of like dating. I love that. You don't walk, I love that. You don't walk and, and, out, and I'll tell you, right? I'll tell you that works because I love it when somebody says, hey, I saw in your profile and I saw that you something. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to disconnect from you. Right. Immediately. I'm like, you're, <laughs> you're in, you're in, you took yeah. the time to get to know me. I, I love that strategy. Yeah. I do, too, and the fact that a lot of people will contact me since I'm co-founder of the speakerspathway.com, and they will say, hey, I went to your website, yada, da, 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 and I think I can help you do this, that, and the other. And I said, well, did you see our executive training directors there? Do you see what they do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So it's, it's, it's very, very important to be authentic in your message because uh, – like Don, if someone talks to him about, gee, I see where you're a rock climber and you've climbed here or there or whatever, that will resonate. And if someone talks to me about speakerspathway.com, they see that I'm former military, retired military, 31 years, Vietnam veteran, master sergeant, and all those good things. But if they start telling me about, hey, I think I can help you do this, that, and the other, like marketing or whatever. <laughs> Did you not see we got executive training directors? And that's their job. <laughs> <laughs> That's a definite turnoff. So you got to be authentic. We got about one minute left. Go ahead, Ira. Yeah, absolutely. So it's you know, and it's, you know, they, you you heard the saying ABC always be always be closing. There's another ABC. I got two of them. One is always be calendaring, filling your calendar, and the other ABC is always be caring. Always care. They want to know that you care about them because that's where it starts, and that's the that's the secret sauce. I think most people know that, but they forget because you need to really make that connectivity. And I'm going to talk about that in the next segment about how do you connect to people quickly when you're talking to them, particularly like on the phone or even face to face. And I think that's a really important subject because the trust and connectivity is everything. Wouldn't you guys agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back right after these messages. Your Future Is Now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And just like the show, we are dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the same vision and mission of helping people define their future. You may have heard that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a video is worth a thousand pictures. Koji Sumaldi says, if you're not using video in 2019, you're going to get left behind. Most people feel lost or confused when it comes to marketing. Preston Martelli is a marketing guru whose strategies are both art and science in growing your business. Preston helps you make the right decisions that are predictable, measurable, and scalable. For additional information about Koji, Preston, or any of our executive training directors, go to our website at speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. Have you ever found yourself in an airplane seated next to a non-stop talker that you really don't have anything at all in common with? When I fly, I usually want to catch up on my reading and not have to listen to an explatterator. It's even worse if they're a philodox. That's a person who just loves their own opinion. Well, now a Facebook app lets you choose your own seatmate before you fly. According to an article in USA Today, social media startups are bringing together compatible flyers before they take their seats. That's good news for people lovers, otherwise known as philodemics. A number of apps such as Plainly and Satisfy are helping travelers meet not only online, but in person. Think the Match.com of travel. I love flying and have been to almost as many places as my luggage. It's marching day I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant, along with Dandy Don McGrath and our good friend Ira Rosen. 
And Your Future is Now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And uh, Mr. Ira, would you be so kind as to let people know your website, how they can get in touch with you before we go any further? I don't want to run out of time today. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, MojoGlobal.com, MojoGlobal.com. And uh, when you get there, just click on Stories, and you'll see people like Sharon Lecter on there, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, and all kinds of people. And actually, a lot of speakers uh, we have as clients. I mean, Sharon Lecter, we've worked with um, Les Brown, Mark Victor Hansen, Chicken Soup for the Soul. But it's great. If you're a speaker, this is an awesome – our platform is great for – increasing your speaking opportunities because you can reach all these decision makers uh, in, in a fraction of the time so that you can connect with them on LinkedIn. That way, if you're cold calling people, it's just, um, you know, it's just death by a thousand bites is what I call it. It's really difficult. And um, uh, the other, the other issue is people, instead of chasing people, and that's what everybody's doing right now. They're chasing their prospects. If you use LinkedIn properly, um, it's because right now it's like pushing that boulder up the side of the mountain, and it just sucks the life out of you. And it's going to become more difficult in the next year, not easier, because everyone's climbing into in, you know into the internet, and it's just everyone's being spammed like crazy. It's going to get worse. And but the good news is, if you know what you're doing, you know you can really navigate through there and and really really make it happen. But instead of pushing the boulder up the side of the mountain every day, the boulder comes towards you at a controlled speed. So it's like pushing a rope is very difficult. But if you lean back and pull the rope and let people magnetically be drawn to you with proper messaging, with proper strategies, with proper automation, and really understanding how to navigate through LinkedIn. You learn LinkedIn. I mean, whether you, you would work with us or someone else, or what, it doesn't matter. You learn and master LinkedIn. It'll change your life. It'll change your business because you've got to. You then have a predictable stream of prospects. It'll be sustainable because it's like you could have. It's like if you're, you know, picture yourself as a red Ferrari. You're that red Ferrari sitting in the garage, red with a tan interior, and you go, eh, I don't really want to spend money on gasoline. Well, guess what? You've become the world's best-kept secret. Your neighbor doesn't even know you got a Ferrari. You cannot get that car out on the road unless you make a little bit of investment into your marketing. But you got to do, you got to be smart about it because if you're B2B, all you need to begin with, all you need is LinkedIn. LinkedIn will take you there. We've got crazy, crazy success stories. Sharon Lecter did a, we did two events with her. Uh, we helped her with, um, and all she did was LinkedIn. She took in over a half a million dollars in two events. She had a mastermind program, and she sold it like crazy. Everybody in that room came from LinkedIn. So it's, it's the best-kept secret on the Internet. And once people learn it, and that's what we're passionate about is, because most people, ninety-five percent of people are LinkedIn illiterate. Back to when you're talking to people, it's all about connectivity and trust. And so when you're talking to people, just some sales tips is you know get to know them, find out about them, make it all about them. You know, and the more they're comfortable with you, you get them smiling, you keep it light. You know, you don't want to keep it stiff because they're going to mirror you. If you're really relaxed, they're going to be the same way. If you're uptight and real stiff. That's how they're going to be. But the more you make them feel good, compliment them, elevate them, what's going to happen, they will start to reveal what is really going on with them, what their real, what their real problems are, what their real challenges are. When you understand that, that's when you can really make some headway because, you know, people – invest money, spend money to solve problems. They've got mm. to reveal the problem. And when when value exceeds price, that's when people will say yes and buy something. Value's got to exceed price. The other thing is people love to buy, but they don't want to be sold. So you want to make it, let them make, it's like it was their idea, you know. And so it's, 
but you want to compliment people. You want to make them feel great because at the end of, of an hour or whatever it is, how much time you talk to somebody that's 10 minutes on a, on a call, you know, a week later, a year later, they're, they're really not going to remember much about what you said. What they will remember is how you made them feel. And psychologists have done studies on this. When you meet somebody in the first three minutes, that initial, uh, that initial impression is pretty much identical the way you feel about that person 12 months later. So those mm. first impressions, you got one shot, there's no do-overs. And so you got to be really cognizant of that because, you know, you, it's all about relationships, you know, good selling. And the other thing is you've got to build up your community. This is where most entrepreneurs really fall down. They don't have a community. And on LinkedIn, if you use it properly, like working with us, we'll show you how to have 6,000 people in one year and how to really stay in front of them and brand yourself as a subject matter expert. But you've got it's like throwing a party and no one shows up. Why did that happen? You didn't have a guest list. And so mm. you need to nurture. You want to have a tribe. You want to have a following. You want to have a community. And that's how you get this thing called inertia and momentum. Without that, that you know, that you're, it's really difficult. The other thing is you want to have, you want to be using automation wherever you can. Also, you want to be able to delegate as much as you can away from yourself. You can get a virtual assistant for very little money, five, six, seven dollars an hour. You can go to upwork.com. And you can get all kinds of, there's all kinds of virtual assistants. We've hired, you know, we've got hired many people from Upwork. And that way, delegate to them, give them the mundane, the mundane tasks that you should not be doing. You should really be doing two things every day, selling and then working with your clients and filling your calendar. And everything else, delegate away from yourself because then, what you're able to do then, instead of 80% of your day being non-revenue producing, and our goal when we work with our clients is flip it around, flip the switch. So 80% of your day is revenue producing. That's when you hit that magical, there's that glass ceiling a lot of people have, I want to make, I want to make six figures. That's how you do it. You've got to have a full calendar. You've got to be talking to people all day long. Um, if you're... Uh, if you're making $10,000 a month, if you figure it out, reverse engineer it, that's $60 an hour. A lot of people mm. think, oh, I make $300 an hour. Okay, well, maybe, you know, well, the rea here's the cold reality. If you're making $5,000 a month, you're making $30 an hour. Now, mm. if you're making $2,500 a month, you're making $15 an hour. I mean, it's like you're thinking to yourself, whoa, well, how do I get to... You know, how do I double my income? It's real simple. Double your lead flow. Your calendar is a reflection of everything else you're doing. 90% of your success, as I said earlier, is not your products or services. It's your marketing. And people got to look to you as that subject matter expert. Because when you're talking to people, they're in the back of their mind. They won't say it as, why you? Why do I want to be a client of yours? Why should I buy from you? Because if you're showing up as average instead of awesome, you know, it's not going to work. So you got to separate yourself from your competition. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be excited. You got to be, you, you've got to make it all about them. You got to make them feel great. You got to bring a massive, massive value. And I always believe in the very beginning, you know, it's, uh, Dr. Shildini talks about the law of balance reciprocity. Lead with, like on LinkedIn, give them something for free. Maybe it's a free report. Maybe it's a piece of software. Maybe it's, a, you know, you're going to give them a free analysis. Do something for somebody where they're going, where it has real value. They go, wow, now you're building trust because people love free. Then you're coming from a place of giving and caring, not just taking and taking. So those are, you know, those are really important things. The other thing is ask yourself, my reoccurring revenue, do I have it? If you don't have reoccurring revenue in your business model, you need to get it. Why? Because you're unemployed to your next sale. Mm. You're unemployed to your next sale. You've got to have reoccurring revenue. When you have reoccurring revenue, you sleep much better at night. Imagine for a moment at the beginning of the month, you start and it's, you know, say it's October 1, 
and you you know you've got X amount of money coming in from your clients. You know, mm-hmm. so figure out a way. And there's many many different ways to have multiple streams of revenue. But if you don't have reoccurring revenue, get creative. There's many many ways to do all that. Uh, people that work with us, we actually show them different opportunities on how they could create that for themselves. But that really, and that's one of the things that really sets you free because otherwise if you're always trading hours for dollars, you're on mm-hmm. that treadmill and you're stuck yeah. on that treadmill. Uh, wouldn't you agree? You're, yeah, you're exactly right. I'm sitting here listening to you. If I was in the audience, I'm going like, wow, or hear you later on a podcast or on iTunes. I'm going like, Gee whiz! I mean, if I if I join this guy, um, give your website again because I know you're about ready to shove out. We're about two minutes left, so give your website again and how they can get in touch with you and that sort of thing, please, sir. Yeah, it's uh, MojoGlobal.com. And if somebody would like to email me, I'm even going to give you my private email. It's Ira I R A at MojoGlobal.com. Ira at mojoglobal.com. I'll respond back to you. And, um, hey, guys, thanks so much. I really, this was a lot of fun for me. And, um, uh, you know, let's let's stay in touch. And I hope, oh, I, hope yeah. everybody, I hope everybody enjoyed this. Well, thank you. We'll see you in October. We're going to be out there in Phoenix, in your neck of the woods, brother. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll, we'll hang out. <laughs> sounds good. You bet. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank well, you. Well, Bye-bye. And I, I just like to tell the audience all of the information, the global, uh, the mojo global dot com. I'll have that uh, link on the iPod there here at the station and also his uh, email address, Ira at mojo global dot com. We'll have all that information there. And Dandy Don, we got about one minute left and I'm going to turn, turn the wheels over to you, brother. I mean, what did you think? What a great show. And, oh. uh, you know, I think, you know, Brilliant people can make complex things simple, and I, I love the simplicity of the stuff that uh, that Ira is teaching. I think you know ha- having people break the habits of spamming everyone and showing them exactly <laughs> how to do this in a good way that makes oh, you attractive. Yeah. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, and uh, be sure to subscribe to our podcast and on iTunes, and we'll see you next week. Thank you now. Have a wonderful weekend.